Hey up everybody, I hope you're all keeping safe and well at home. Welcome to the Hyde House PE week two of the PE lessons. All right, so this week again, we're going for a similar thing on a HIIT workout. There is a slight change of location. However, it still doesn't mean that you need any more space than what you had before. Just a tiny little bit of space in your bedroom, in your kitchen, in your lounge, whatever. Um, it's exactly the same as last week in terms of you don't need any equipment. All right, now the only difference this week um, is that it's going to be abs uh, and a cardio workout. So it's a mixture of the two, all right? But it's gonna really test those abdominals today, so we need to make sure we are ready. Obviously, I've got a mat, um, but I'm getting old, so that's, I just need to make sure I look after my body and all that jazz, all right? So, um, the, the lesson's gonna be the same in terms of you're working for 30 seconds and you're resting for 30 seconds, okay? So I know a lot of you last week enjoyed that 30 second rest. Some of you didn't think it was long enough. I personally think it's all about raising your heart rate, letting it drop again, and then raising it again, all right? So. For this week, um, the only difference is there's going to be a little bit of a quiz throughout the video. So for those of you that are maybe struggling with the odd um, activity or the odd exercise, then you can stop, have 20 seconds, research whatever the answer is to the question that I give you, and then you can come back to the workout. So it just gives you a little bit of um, a leeway to just have a little bit of a rest maybe if you really need it. Okay? But there's going to be 12 questions throughout this workout that I want you to try and answer as we are working. All right? So I'm going to get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to put the little uh, the timer right next to the screen today so you can actually, um, so you can actually hear the beat. And the first thing we're going to be doing is jogging on the spot. 30 seconds, simple, straightforward. Hopefully you can still hear me. Hopefully I can hear the timer. Or not. Okay, okay so we're off. So we get jogging on the spot. I'm going to have to move that timer a little bit closer. So I can see it. Okay, jogging on the spot. Go, 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 go. Knees up, knees up, jogging. Arms, get them working. Good. We've got 15 seconds, okay? So keep going, keep going, keep jogging, keep jogging, get that speed up if you want. If you want to go a bit faster, then do it. Keep going, we've got five, four, three, two. Why is he not talking to me? <laughs> right, 30 second rest, okay? This time, let me get the volume up, because I don't think she's playing. Right, so we've got 25 seconds rest, but I'm gonna explain what's gonna be going on for the next one. We're gonna go for crunches, okay? So it's basically your sit-ups, and you can just, hands on the temples, not behind the head, and you're just gonna crunch up, not all the way, just crunch up. If you wanna make it harder, you can put your legs up and just crunch up. All right, and five seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So, 30 seconds, just crunching, nothing too difficult, just really engaging that core. You put your legs down. Halfway there, keep going, push it through. Not all the way up, remember. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, good, you should really start feeling that engaging your core now. Um, tough one to start with, but we keep going. Okay, the next one, we're gonna go burpees, all right? We're gonna move backwards for this one. Um, important with a burpee, all right? that you're making sure you go from hands to chest, okay? So we're going hands, chest, up, hands, chest, up. Okay, question one, uh, what are the two types of stretching? Okay, so just while you're doing it, two types of stretching, what have you got? Arms up, hands, chest, arms up. So, Spoke about stretching last lesson. What are the two types of stretching you can remember? That's the question number one. Still make sure you put it in. And chest. Up. Good. Two types of stretching. You've got static, dynamic. Okay. Static stretching that's still, dynamic stretching that's on the move. All right. First question done. Next one, <laughs> a lot of you like this one. You go for the plank, okay, but you're going up, down, up, okay, so you can do it up, down, plank, it's called. Whew. Those of you that don't want to do that, you can do it off your knees, up, down, up, down. Okay, second question, get that plank going by the way. What's the largest organ in the body? Up, up, down, down, down. <laughs> Oops. Make sure you're flat. 
Not bumming the air. Down, down, up, up. What's the largest organ in the body? Three. Let's take your flat, Mr. Hall. Good. 30 seconds rest. So, largest organ in the body, what's your guesses? It's actually your skin. Okay, so your skin is the largest organ in the body. That's question number two. Whew. Next one, we're going with squats. Okay, I need to make sure I do these properly this week, because last week I might have, uh, might have not done them perfectly. We're going to really far down. Three, two, one, go. So squats all the way down. All the way down. Still <laughs> making sure we're not cutting corners, Mr. Hall. All the way down, all the way back up. Halfway there. Whew. I'll get the next question after we've done the squats. Whew. Good, keep it going. Put the effort in. Whew. Deep breaths. Three, two, one, rest. Good, and rest. So, next one we're going for leg raises, all right? These leg raises are ab workout again. Flat on the floor, straight legs, hands onto your side next to your bum, and you're literally going up, not letting your feet touch the ground, and up again, all right? Lower them slowly, don't rush it. Whew. Question, what is the feel-good hormone called that is released when you do exercise? What is the feel-good hormone called that's released when you do exercise. Let's go. Leg raises. Up and down. Up and down. Really tense them core muscles. Up. Halfway there. And down. Up and down. Get them deep breaths in. I'm gonna have to get a drink after this one. Feel it. Feel that in your heart. Good one. Okay, so the feel-good hormone is called serotonin, all right? There's basically a chemical reaction in your brain when you do exercise. It releases this feel-good hormone, serotonin, around the body, and that's why people always say you feel a lot better after a workout, all right? Science. Um, next one we're going for, reverse lunge, okay? We did these last time. Same as before. Okay, so this time, when you go back, I want you to touch your other toe. Okay, so I'm going to step backwards so you can see. Backwards, touch your other toe. Backwards, touch your other toe. So you're crossing over like that. Cross, cross, wobbly. I've not got any ligament in that knee, so it'll be careful. I do get pecked at sometimes not to do it, but keep going. So from the side, look, we're going down, cross, down, cross, down, cross. Good, okay. This time a reverse crunch I'm going to show you. Um, the question for this one is how many bones are in the body? Okay, question four, how many bones are in the human body? It's a great machine. Uh, reverse crunch. Whew. And breathe. <laughs> reverse crunch, you're literally bringing your, chee to your, <laughs> your cheese, your knees up to your chest. Started a bit early then. All the way up. All the way up. You sort of just bring your bum just off the ball and crunch. Crunch. Keeping your hands flat on the floor. Halfway there. The first few don't hurt that much. The second few do. Whew. Keep it going. And breathe. That's the bit before. Okay, so how many bones in the body? You've got 206 bones in the body. Quite an interesting fact, I think, something to remember. 206, what an incredible piece of work our bodies are. I don't think we always give it the uh, appreciation that it deserves. Right, so keep going now, you're still going with it. Um, we're now going with mountain climbers. Now, mine last week were rubbish, so I really want you to try this time. Bring your knees up and up to the side or through the middle of your arms, I don't mind, but let's go. Hands up, 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 or you can go out to the side. But we're going to go through the middle of it. Up, bringing them knees up to your chest, keep it going, put the effort in. Whew. Halfway there. Halfway there. 
Good, I'll get to the side. So you go through the middle. You can go up to the side. You can keep going through the middle. Three, two, one, rest. I didn't stop before, I swear. Um, the next one, my personal favourite from last week. I did mess up a few times. The bicycle crunch, okay, where you bring an elbow to knee on the floor. We'll go for question number five. Um, what is the largest muscle in your body? Okay, so it's an amazing machine, but what is the largest muscle in the body? Okay, We've got five seconds, bicycle crunches. So don't rush it, this is where I went wrong last week. I rushed it, okay. I'd much rather you try and do it properly. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. I feel it's not a personal favourite of mine, as you can tell. But it's all about improving, feeling that ab workout, get going. Look at this shocking technique, sir. Can see it, sir. Must be doing something. So, <laughs> those of you will definitely be better at that than I am. Um, the number five largest muscle is actually your gluteus maximus. Your gluteus maximus, also known as your glutes, which are your bum. Okay, so biggest muscle in the body are your bum. They actually help your whole body keep balance, keep strength. A lot of movements you do without realizing are using your bum muscle for that, your gluteus maximus. We started from the top, we're on jog on the spot. Let's go. Get jogging. Some of you might find this week easier, some of you might find it harder. We're going second time round now, so keep it going. Come on, Mr. Ball, get going, man. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Come on. Five. Push yourself through. Good, so we've got crunches next. We'll give you another question. What's the smallest bone in your body? Question six. Smallest bone in your body. <laughs> Just inhaled some more water, that's good. So we're going crunches. Off the floor. Remember, you can make it easier and put your legs up. You can make it. Uh, Sorry, harder to put your legs up, easier to leave them down. Okay, so we're going to crunch. 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 Squeaky mat. Put legs up. Halfway there. Oh, you put your arms up there, don't you, that? Oh, keep crunching. Come on, it's tough now. You feel that burning in your abs? One, we'll miss that, sir. So, the smallest bone in your body is actually called the stapes or the sapidus. It's a tiny little, uh, uh, smallest bone in your ear, okay? It helps your eardrums work, essentially. Um, it's called the stapes in your ear. Good, question six. So, question seven, what connects muscle to bone? So, what connects your muscles to your bones? What's it called? If you're not sure, have a look. If you do know, have a guess. Whew, we're going for burpees, sir. Not even a weight, sorry. So remember, chest, up. So hands, chest, up to the sky. Hands, chest, up to the sky. Hands, chest, up to the sky. Come on. Hands, chest, up to the side. Keep it going. Hands, chest, up to the sky. Say it to yourself. Hands, chest, up to the sky. Hands, up to the sky. Hands, what connects muscle to bone? They're called tendons, okay? Ligaments are what connects bone to bone. Tendons connect muscle to bone. That's question six. I mean seven. I've lost count. <laughs> Next one we're going for up, down, plank. And the question is how much of the body is made up of water? Okay, so what percentage of the body is made of water? Okay, plank again. Down, down, up, up. Make sure you're flat, sir. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Don't forget to breathe. Halfway there. Keep 
Stand it off your knees if you want to. I'm going to persevere. Keeping my bum down. It's the hardest bit. Whew. How much of the body is made up of water? Whew, about 66%. So, might be the devil's number 666, but about 66% of our bodies are made up of this good stuff. So it's important to make sure you get loads of fluids down here, because the body needs it. Um, right, we're going for squats. My personal biscuit knee favourite. Breathe. Um, I'll give you another question, why not? What is hypertrophy? So what is hypertrophy? I think that's quite a good question. Um, GCSE starts a question, but I don't see why key stage three can't give it a go. So I want to put a lid on your mouth. So hypertrophy is basically the increase in the muscle cells in your body, okay? So when you work out, you lift weights or you do exercise like this, breathe. The muscle fibers in your muscles, they break, okay? When you eat or drink uh, some sort of protein, they repair slightly bigger, and that's when it's hypertrophy, when they are repairing slightly bigger, getting bigger, stronger, okay? Your heart can also get stronger, that's why this cardio stuff's really important, because your heart is a muscle and it can get a lot stronger as you work it. Whew, breathe. Leg raises. Come on, sir. Leg raises. <sighs> Make sure you're drinking water throughout this. Come on, are we ready yet? Oh, no. Wow. Gave myself a bit of a rest there, didn't I? Um, so, yeah. Making sure you're keeping busy, active. Not like what I'm doing right now. Oh, we go again. Leg raises. So, we're going up. I'm not even on the mat. Straight legs and down. Don't let your feet touch the floor at the bottom. Leave it about an inch. Halfway there. Breathe. Breathe. Three, two, one, rest. Keep it going. Come on, you really feel that burn in your abs, in your obliques, which is the abs down the side. Get your breathing in. Next one, we've got the reverse lunge, okay? Like I said before, we're going back opposite foot with our hand. Opposite hand with our foot. No, wait, opposite foot with our hand. I was right first time. Okay, make sure you're sticking with it. I know this is probably the point where a lot of you might want to give in. Don't give in. This is the part of the workout where you're getting the most out of it. Don't rush it either. Sometimes I have a tendency to try and just rush it thinking that's going to help. It's not. Touch the floor. Touch the floor. Your back knee should nearly be touching the floor. You've probably got a better view than I am of that. Down. Up. So 30 seconds, you work at your own tempo. You work at your own intensity. Yeah? You don't have to keep up with anybody. Oh, no, just get one out, sir. <laughs> really finished early again. So. 30 seconds is it's you, it's personalised to you, alright? If you only get, for example, five press-ups in that 30 seconds, fine. If you get 30 in a 30 seconds, brilliant. It doesn't matter, they're personal goals, personalised to you. Okay, um, let's go with what we got next. So, you've got the reverse crunch, so you're on your back, bringing your knees up to your chest, okay? Question time, how many times does the heart beat in 24 hours? So how many times? Does the heart beat in 24 hours? Oh, bring your knees up to your chest. How many times does that heart beat every 24 hours? Come on, sir. Push it through. Come on. Okay, so they say. A heartbeat, depending on your age, depending on your fitness, etc., about a hundred thousand times in 24 hours. It's amazing what this this work of art that we we are all living in can actually do. 
All right, a um, hundred thousand times, roughly in 24 hours. Obviously, you're raising it a little bit when you're doing things like this. I think that's incredible. Like I said before, an incredible piece of work. What we got? Mountain climbers. Come on, sir. We could. Mountain climbers. Up, up, up. Bring your chest. Up. Bring your knees to your chest, even. Turn on your side. Side view. A bit quicker this week, look. Cool. Put it in. Put the effort in. Really push it. Push it through. Through the voice crack there. <laughs> good. Okay, really good effort. Um, got two more questions as well for those that are just watching and listening. Really good effort for those who are putting it all the effort in. We're on our last bit of this, this tiny bit of the workout. We've got the bicycle crunch, my personal favourite, you could say that. And then we're going to go into the last four or five exercises of just ab workouts, so a really tough that last five minutes. Um, bicycle crunches, elbow to the knees. You can have a laugh at me on this one, it's not my strength. Coordination and all that. So we're elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Don't rush it. Making sure your shoulders are lifting off the floor. Cool. Breathe. Hands on the temples, you don't want them behind your head because it can injure your neck. Three, two, one, rest. Right, so this time, this is a personal favourite for a lot of you, it wasn't. Um, we're going for the side plank. Alright, getting a bit shiny now, aren't I? So the side plank, you all did it last week. Gonna do it on right or left, we're going to do it on both, so it doesn't matter which one you start with. Got about 14 seconds. Deep breaths in. If you put your hands on your head, it does get the air to your lungs a little bit quicker. Breathing through the nose out, through the mouth. Side plank, ready to go. Two, one, go. It's quite a tough one. Making sure I'm going to put my arm up this week, just for the bit, bit of balance. And um, you don't have to. But really pulling, imagine there's a piece of string pulling you up. Okay, so. You drop, wrap the string, pull it up. Okay, arm up, don't let it drop. Don't let it drop. Really feel it pull down here. Your obliques are called. Halfway there. Come on, sir. Pull it up. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Swap sides. You'll often have a stronger side and a weaker side. We'll go for question at number 11. Um, what miles per hour do we sneeze? Okay, so when you sneeze, what miles per hour is that forcing? Quite, a, quite a, uh, a topical question for this. What miles per hour do you think you sneeze at? Ready to go on the other side? So mine's my left. Hopefully it's a little bit. It's not too difficult this side. Three, we'll see. two, one, go. So holding it up. Remember, arm up if you want. Pull that string, sir. Stop cheating. Arm up. Really start to feel that squeeze now. All down the side of the obliques. You can sort of feel it in your quads as well, but you're trying to balance yourself out. And your arm here, your bicep, your tricep, I'm naming a lot of muscles here, hopefully. If you don't know where they are, Google them. <laughs> so, what miles per hour do we sneeze? Have a think about that one. <sighs> Halfway there, come on. Three, Pull. two, one, rest. Good. Okay, so, the next one we're going with a normal plank, by the way, just so you're ready. If you stay on the floor, that's fine. We actually sneeze, supposedly, at 100 miles per hour. Okay, 100 miles per hour when we're sneezing, that's why it's so important to wear a mask. Make sure you're covering your face um, and then washing your hands mainly. On the topic, apparently we cough at about 50, 60 miles per hour, all right? So you think of how far that can travel. Um, it's important that we're doing the right things. Okay, plank, you can do it off your knees if you want to. You can do it straight, just making sure you try and stay flat. <laughs> There's nowhere in here that I can see on how flat I am, but hopefully it'll fairly flat. Really engage that core. Hold it. Some of you said this was the easiest bit last week, the plank. I personally disagree. Come on. Hold it. Don't forget to breathe too. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, good. Good, well held. Okay, so whew, we're gonna do the, the last one is gonna be a leg raised plank. Okay? So basically, you're in a plank and you're doing a mountain climb. So you're in a plank and you're bringing your knee up. Your knee up, alright? I'm not going to do extra. 
but we are going to finish on the final question how much water a day uh, is a human recommended to drink all right um, quick drink three two one go leg raise plank last one come on last one okay. up. Up. Feel it really in your biceps and your arms, your triceps. Feel it in your abs. Last one. Come on. I think my bum's up in the air a little bit. Three, two, two one. Right. I'll tell you what, that was a real burner, but it's really, really good for you, that. And those of you, once again, that stuck it out right the way to the end, it's a fantastic effort, all right? Over the next few weeks, hopefully, I'll stop the time. Over the next few weeks, hopefully, I'll have a few special guests. <laughs> um, but generally, I just want you to stay active, stay busy. Question 12, by the way. How much water should we drink a day? Two litres, it's recommended, and that's exactly what's in this bottle. Hence why I carry around this bottle every day. Just make sure you keep track of how many liquids you're having. Um, but those of you who are stuck with that, great effort. Once again, same message. Stay safe. Look after yourself. Thank you for joining me week two.